Okay, we need to normalize the amount of people that women actually sleep with. I went on a first date with this guy last week, and he goes, yeah, I always judge a girl if she sleeps with me on the first date. I'm sorry, Frank, but aren't you sleeping with her on the first date too? Somebody please tell me why it is okay for men to sleep with as many women as they want, but yet women cannot sleep with as many men as they want. I'm so confused as to why women are called sluts and men aren't. <laughs> she knows why. She's not confused. You can tell by the smirk. Look at her face. You can tell by her smirk that she knows exactly why women are called sluts and men aren't. But anyway, I believe that every woman that I'm on a date with should give it up to me on the first date. And I don't judge a woman for that. See, a lot of guys who have a certain level of insecurity or who are worried about what a woman might be doing in the streets, they're thinking, oh, she gives it up to all these guys, meaning that they're focused on other men. I'm not focused on other men. I'm right here on a date with this woman. And in my mind, I'm that dude. She should be that attracted to me that she wants to have sex with me right now on this first date. I don't judge her. I don't call her uh, a slut or a whore or I'm not thinking about any of those things. I'm thinking I'm attracted to her. She's attracted to me. This is the first date and she should want to have sex with me. Why not? You understand? I'm not thinking about what she's ever done with other guys, her body count, all this stuff. I'm just focused on the fact that I'm that dude. I'm focused on the fact that I'm that attractive and she should want to have sex with me. You get what I'm saying? So judging a woman for wanting to have sex with you on the first date, I think is very, very counterintuitive. And it's real weird to me how so many guys want sex, but they want every woman to have a low body count. Try to balance out the average guy's desire for sex and try to average what he thinks every woman's body count should be. It doesn't add up. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It doesn't add up. If y'all want sex from these women, these women got to be fucking bro. A lot of dudes talk about body count truthfully because they mad that they're not a part of that body count. They're mad because so many women told them no when they were trying to get sex. You understand? So they have a level of resentment. And so they choose to shame women and they choose to judge women. You understand? Again, try to balance it out. How much you want women to be fucking and how low you think their body counts should be. It doesn't make any sense. Most dudes think that every woman should have a zero body count. However, every time you look at a chick on Instagram or in the streets or wherever, you want to have sex with them. How does that work? It doesn't work that way. You understand? It can't. It's impossible. Logically, it doesn't make sense. That's how you know a lot of dudes who judge women on body count are in their feelings. You understand? Because they're upset at the fact that they've hollered at or met so many women and dated so many women, tried to get them back to the crib, and the women was like, nah, I'm good. I'm not interested. And so they feel a level of resentment, and so they want to insult and blame women and call them names and judge them and call them sluts and whores and all of this stuff because of so many women that have told them no. So they figure, man, women got all this body count and I'm not in a part of that body count. You know what? Those women are sluts. And the only reason why you're saying that is because they didn't have sex with you. You understand? Don't judge women, bro. Don't judge women. Because at the end of the day, you know you want a woman to have sex with you. You know you want a woman to fucking suck and do it, all of that stuff you want her to do. You know that's what you want her to do. But at the same time, you're trying to call her a slut or a whore for, for being, quote unquote, promiscuous and all of that. Take it easy, bro. If you really want to have sex out here, if you really want to have an exciting dating life that includes having sex, you got to be less judgmental. And you got to understand that if a woman chooses to have sex with you, more often than not, it's because she's very attracted to you. And if you believed in yourself and you believed in your masculine identity, you would understand why she's making that choice. You would have a clear understanding and be like, yo, she's choosing to have sex with me on this first date because I'm that attractive. You understand? I'm that valuable. I'm that man that she needs to be having sex with. You have to get that into your mindset and then, then it will become a possibility for you. Until you get that mindset, you won't have that possibility because you're going to continue to judge women and that energy is going to come out in your interaction. And then the woman's just going to tell you no by default. You understand? So you have to understand your mindset controls your words and actions. And that energy of resentment and being judgmental towards these women is going to come out in your actions and words. And they're going to tell you no just by default because they're afraid to be judged by you. A lot of women will say yes if they feel comfortable with the aftermath of their choice. You understand? And the only way they're going to feel comfortable is if you understand how to not be judgmental of women and to let her know that her having sex with you is the right thing to do. But it's your boy, Miles Cunningham. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you got something from this video. Be good to yourself. And remember, the truth is inside you. Peace.